This video is showing how to use the option menu widget in Tekinta. So our option menu um, is often called our drop down menu. So you can see ones here, you've got option one, option two, option three, and then you can click and get the value that you have selected. So let's see how that will work out in our code. So I've created our usual window. We've got um, imported to Kinder, created our window with the usual setup. We have two labels up here and we're using a grid geometry manager. So we've got the options, we've got um, the option menu. Example title up there, we have the choose an option label as well. And we have a button down the bottom here, which we've put in as well. And our label down the bottom, which responds, um, which value gets changed when we click the button because the button will run the display command, the display function up here. So let's see how we actually create our options list. To start off with, you need to actually make a list of what the different options are gonna be. So I've got a list here called option list and it's just option one, option two, option three, eight, four. This is the, this is the text that appears down here. These are the different ones, so each um, element of this list will form one row of your option list. Then we need to have a tracing variable again. So the whole idea is a tracing variable and as with our previous um, video, it will um, update when this value has been changed. So it was aware of when it's actually the values have been changed and it will adjust to that. So we're calling that one option control. What's more, we then have to, with option control, this, this string var, we now then got to set our option list. We've got to tell where the option list is. So the option list is up here. So that's what we're saying. And we're saying, what is the, sorry, what I'm actually doing there is I'm defining what the opening value is. So the opening value is option one. If I'd chosen that to be um, three, it would be saying option four at the moment. So that's what we want the original value to be, the default value if you want. So now we need to create the actual option menu. So I'm gonna call the option menu choice. Um, it is a, so making a option menu object, it needs to go into the root window. We gotta say the variable that it's associated with, which we call option control up here. So that's option control and then the argument here, it's basically the little star says, there's a whole heap of arguments in this list and it's referring to these here, saying this is the one that the values we want you to put down there. Um, once you've done that, we then need to add it using grid into our screen and it's been, our option list has been created. But now we need to do what happens, we'll create the display function for when we press the button. So, display function, um, is being made. Um, when we click the button, we want to take um, whatever we want to get, whatever the current option control value is from this variable down here, the tracing variable, and we want to assign it to a variable called selected. We then want to change our display label, the text of our display label to be whatever um, is in selected. So save that, close him run it and we should now have our window working properly our widget working properly so that's how we do an option menu list